Good morning, Jackson, Mississippi, and all surrounding areas. You've tuned in to the Free Range Human Show of Choice, your daily dose of reality radio. It starts now. This is the Clay Edwards Show. I am, of course, Clay Edwards. Shocker. <laughs> Good morning to everybody. I hope y'all are doing well. It's uh, had a nice ride in here this morning. Traffic wasn't too bad. So, uh, you know, for all this talk of a heat wave, it actually hasn't felt too bad in the mornings. There's some mornings when you walk outside and that humidity is just so disrespectful. It just, it'll smack you straight up across the face. You're like, oh, what in the world? You're sticky before you even get to your car. Hadn't had that the last few mornings. So uh, I think that rain yesterday actually helped. Um, I keep hearing that we're in a, in a drought of sorts and not getting enough rain. But last couple of weeks, it feels like all it has done is rained. I mean, especially in the afternoons. You won't get a complaint out of me. You, you really won't. This time of year, I will take some rain. All right, let's get this party started. The Mack Hike Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram of Flowood phone line is 601-879-0002 if you want to chime in. And I've got a question of the day I want everybody's answer on. Uh, it can be an underlying current for the next two hours. Uh, you can call in at any time if you think of something. I'm going to get to that in just a minute. Uh, it, it, you can also text it on the Guns and Gear text line. Text me your answer, your opinion, your thoughts, whatever. So it's, it, it is a uh, it is a free for all today. I got some things I want to talk about, but you know, look, you guys are a bigger part of this show as I am. So uh, if there's something that's on your mind, you want to get off your chest, by all means, the Guns and Gear text line is 769-241-1944. One more time, 769-241. 1944. I also have my Twitter account pulled up here on the computer screen at the in the studio. And I am simply at save JXN on the Twitter. I don't check Facebook too much throughout the show. It, it's just, just the comments are a little complicated to follow sometimes. It only shows most relevant. It, pain in the butt. But uh Twitter and the text line are your best forms of uh texting type communication or social media whatnot and then of course the phone line if you want to call in so i was thinking about something on the way in this morning I, you know we talk a lot on this show over the last year or so about civil war is civil war coming and i saw something last night that made me realize the civil war is here we're in a civil war right now it's not kinetic you know we're not there's actually we're not actually out necessarily fighting each other in in the streets so i wouldn't have a problem with that honestly <laughs> can we can we can we can we fight on can we civil war on the weekends anyway uh, charles barkley of all people is what really made this thought trigger and well between that and the abortion billboards popping up around town Charles Barkley was at an event the other night at a bar. He was emceeing it or something. I just saw the clip on Whitlock's show yesterday. And he gets on stage and he says, if you're LGBTQ or trans, I love you. And if anybody gives you crap, you come get me. And I'm just, it's this obsession with virtue signaling to to that community that's nauseating to me. The same community that's trying to teach this crap, this sex crap to your kids, so on and so forth, you know, that we fight this fight every day on this show and on this across this station. I, I'm sorry, if somebody's giving them crap, I'm gonna let somebody give it to them. They probably started it anyway. Let's, let's just be honest. They probably started it anyway. So don't run your mouth. Don't start no crap, there won't be no crap, as they like to say over on the South Side. At least they did when I was growing up. <laughs> Keep your mouth shut if you don't want to get punched in it. But that got me to thinking about, we, we, we kind of won the abortion battle. I mean, unfortunately, babies are still being murdered in other states. But you can't take your foot off the gas. And that's what I will give the Democrats credit from this standpoint. And Kim Wade says this a lot. When Democrats have power, they go for generational change, generational uh, bills and laws 
when Republicans have have control, we just piddle paddle along and just try to be the brakes to slow the Democrats down. And this is one of the things I told Michael Guest sitting there with him last Monday when I had the opportunity to sit down was I want to see as a citizen, I want to see generational bills and laws passed. I get it. Again, we, as a Mississippi resident, I have to be happy with what happened with Roe versus Wade being or Dobbs versus Jackson, Roe versus Wade, whatever you want to call it, being overturned. As an American, I'm disappointed that you can still go kill babies in other places. I saw last night that I can't believe I'm going to say these words on the radio. I saw last night that they're talking about putting Planned Parenthoods in schools in California. In 2023, we're talking, well, 2022, I'm sorry. We're talking about them putting abortion clinics in schools. And one of the other things, that they, they've sold the pink house the murder house in Fondren. It has been sold. Uh, it will not reopen. And the owner is moving her murder, her murder shop of horrors to, uh, was it Los Cruces, New Mexico? Las Cruces, New Mexico. And I, I can't imagine what they would turn this house into, but we won that. We won this round, but, or, you know, if we're gonna use the war analogies, we won the battle. We have not won the war. Because all they're doing now is doubling down on converting your kids to trans and gay and everything else. And I, I, I say it before I say it again. I love some hellfire and brimstone with my church service. I, I do. I love the old school, Old Testament stuff. The gay stuff has never bothered me. And, and I, I'm not going to waver on that. It's still, if you want to, if that's what you want to do, and that's and that is sort of a battle you're okay with trying to sell God on when you die, that is on you. I have my own sins. I'm not here to judge you for that. This, this, this I can't talk this morning. This LGBTQIA plus pedophile BLM Marxist agenda stuff. I this I have a problem with, and I will fight you to the death over this. That is what we are currently in a civil war on. I would love y'all's opinions on that stuff. Because every time I turn around, somebody's sending me a video clip of this, a video clip of that. And sometimes I have to not watch it. And I want y'all to always send me that stuff because I, I may be in the mood, I may not, but it pisses me off so bad sometimes that I'll let it ruin my day. Thinking about something I have no control over that's happening in California or Michigan or wherever else at some school board meeting. But just knowing that people are clapping and, and cheering this crap on and thinking, the what are they doing to their children? I mean, I, I sure hope that more conservatives are having babies than Democrats. If nothing else, I mean, there's a part of me that says if they weren't messing with the kids and trying to get teenagers to lob their wee-wees off, and, and take hormone blockers and all that. There's a part of me that says, just continue to let these people take themselves out of the gene pool. Be as, be as gay as you want. Cut, you know, once you turn 18, or I would really say 25 is probably a solid number. I mean, I was still making bad decisions till my mid thirties, but I'll be 45 in two weeks, three weeks, August 17th. You know, so I, I, I'm on about an 11 year run of pretty good decision making, but I, I I still fall off the wagon every now and then and make a good bad decision. But um, if, if come 25, if you decided you don't want your wee wee no more and you want to whack it off, right? You know what? I mean, you're, you're an adult. You're a full fledged adult by 25. You know, take yourself out the gene pool. I mean, you're going to be the last generation. There will not be another person with your last name or your genetics. And it, it, if you're where it stops, you know, that, that's cool with me. That is cool with me. But you don't deserve to have the right to go to push this crap on children, impressionable minds. We were all impressionable. Hell, 
I remember growing up in South Jackson, man, I wanted to hang with the older, older guys so much and, you know, have, you know, be respected. That's why I understand what's going on in Jackson with these younger, younger kids looking up to these old, uh, I say older guys, it could just be a two or three year difference. But when you're 15 and somebody's 17 or 18, that's a world of difference at that point in your life. It's not like now, <laughs> you know, I'm 40, I'll be 45 next month. Crystal just turned 42 last week, I think, you know. Three to two, two and a half, three year difference. But I, you know, I, I was very impressionable. I, I would have done anything those people said. If I saw, they didn't even have to tell me to do something. If I saw them doing something, I'd want to do it within the, within the, within the concept of, I'm sorry. Yeah, that's where I'm looking for. Context, within the context of what I thought was cool at the time. You know, whatever it was, cruising up and down McDowell, trying to get in fights, chase girls, you know, whatever. So imagine being some loner kid, you know, the, the opposite sex not attracted to you, or maybe you've done going down a TikTok rabbit hole or, or something, and you've landed on these trans teachers, and you got a trans teacher in your, you know, somebody that listens to you. And uh, you, next thing you know, you want to wipe your wee-wee off. You're convinced that, and I'm just using this from the male perspective. I know there's the female perspective too, where they're pretending to be guys and then they can get pregnant and they say they're trans men that got pregnant. No, you're a chick that looks like a dude that got knocked up. That You're not even gay. <sighs> that, that's, a, that's a lot. All right, let's go ahead and take a break. When we come back, I got our question of the day queued up. I think y'all are going to enjoy it. We'll kind of cut the tension a little bit. If you want to comment on any of this? Do you feel like we're in a civil war? I do. I think we're already in it. Uh, will it get kinetic? Uh, you know, I believe it will. I believe it should have during the summer of love. I believe we should have gone and fought back in a lot of those BLM attacks on our nation. We should have. Uh, Kyle Rittenhouse did. Look at him now. Set for the rest of his life. You're listening to The Clay Edwards Show. We'll be right back on 103.9 WYAB.